But Oakland Mayor Xing Thao's home was raided by the FBI, and she claimed radical right-wing forces were targeting her to oust her. I know many of you know exactly how this feels. Sitting with your head in your hands, scared, angry, scared to look too angry in fear of how you might make the situation worse, feeling the injustice in every bone in your body, knowing if you cry out and demand for answers, you will do nothing but cement the judgment they have rooted deep in their mind. I see you. I really see you. And I am your mayor. I am the mayor to call the... Uh, I am the mayor to all the Oaklanders who work hard, who are working overtime to do the right thing and to make the world a better place. And no matter how hard you strive and push and fight and stay positive, and that you don't give up because you believe in yourself and you know what you have to offer this world, that you just cannot catch a break. Well, guess what? I'm not going down like that. We're not going down like that. The people who voted for me deserve to have their voices heard and communities prioritize. I'm seeking the truth right now, just as much as you all are. But I will not be bullied and I will not be disparaged and I will not be threatened out of this office. There are a lot of radical right wing forces who know they will never win an election in Oakland Fair and Square. They know their extreme views are at odds with our Oakland values. But they have built the rules to protect and preserve their power and maintain dominance over the rest of us. We are a threat to that order. I know that. The people who support me know that. You see, this was never going to be an easy fight. But I tell you, it's most definitely a fight worth winning. The tension between Mayor Xing Thao's allegations of right-wing persecution and the need for law enforcement to act fairly is palpable. Mayor Thao's skepticism regarding the FBI's raid as a politically motivated attack raises the possibility of her evading responsibility. It's crucial to maintain trust in the judicial system, ensuring all individuals, regardless of political orientation, are held to the same legal standards. Authenticity, personal responsibility, and the emotional struggle inherent in facing adversity are at play here. Mayor Thao's emotional speech can be seen as an expression of her genuine fear and frustration. Yet in the quest for truth, gender cannot be wielded as a weapon, and tears cannot serve as evidence. Mayor Thao's determination to fight for her beliefs and her commitment to the electorate appear as a response to her current predicament. The impact of the FBI's raid and her subsequent remarks have significant implications for both her supporters and detractors. Describing the raid as a politically motivated attack has contributed to a polarized environment, deepening the divide between political groups. Her emotional appeal seems to resonate with those who feel similarly alienated or persecuted, fostering a sense of solidarity and shared struggle. The public's reaction to Mayor Thao's remarks and the raid itself invites scrutiny. The role of the media in shaping public perception is critical, especially considering how her narrative of being targeted by right-wing forces resonates with her supporters, who already harbor distrust towards conservative groups. It's essential to evaluate whether the coverage of the raid and Mayor Thao's response has been balanced or if it has reinforced particular narratives.